Oh, you put me on the spot there. My most difficult day of service was probably on Herrick 5 when uh, Richie Watts. <laughs> Give me two seconds, boys. Okay. Caught me off guard there. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, gentlemen. Apologise. Oh, I haven't spoken about that. That's all right. <laughs> you just caught me off guard on that one. I'm to apologise. Yeah, if I don't mind, that'd be, yeah, that'd be appreciated, yeah. Oh. You want a few minutes? No, I'm alright, I'm alright, I'm alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, I'm alright, I'm okay. I'm alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you just caught me off guard with that. That's alright, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. My name is Ben Wadham. I'm a former Roaring Commando physical training instructor. Uh, I've served mainly at 42 Commando. I also served at CTC RM, the Commando Training Centre, training recruits in their physical ability to be able to pass out as a Royal Marine. Um, I've also served in numerous countries around the globe, Afghanistan and many other places. I'll tell you a story, when we got back from Afghanistan on Herrick 5, we got locked into a village hall in Cyprus. The guy in the Navy, bless him, stood up and gave a five minute lecture on what post-traumatic stress is. Um, he left, packed up his laptop and as he left the door, about 25 crates of beer got thrown through the door we got drunk and then the next morning woke up and we spent half an hour on the beach and then we flew home that afternoon and that, that was it. And I think, you know, I was a severely troubled young man for a few years, for a long time actually. Um, I didn't quite know what to do with it because like any alpha male, we just go, there's nothing wrong with me. And ultimately, the people that say there's nothing wrong with me are the people that fight. eventually it just clicks or breaks, doesn't it? People hide it very well nowadays, unfortunately. I would say 90% of my friendship are all just as messed up as I am, but yeah. yeah. So one of my best friends, Junior, is uh, another guy who lives down the road, actually. So yeah. Sorry, yeah. It's been a difficult journey. I think um, you build up a reputation for yourself and you become a somebody within your organisation. And for myself, I was a physical training instructor and you become sort of like an influential figure on, on camp. You walk around in your white PT vest and you automatically um, have that respect of the men just purely on the basis of what they know you've done. Um, and I think leaving the military and then going into the, uh, the real world, um, it doesn't matter and you have to re-establish who you are and what you're about. And it took me a long time to sort of find my uh, place in the world. The transition's been really difficult. I get support from Rock to Recovery. So I do check in with those guys once every month. Um, and I've done that now for a long time. And I think without those, those guys, it's, uh, they're a lifesaver. Yeah, genuinely a lifesaver. So I think I've, I've never had one text from anybody since I've left the service, from the service, asking me if I'm okay, which is slightly frustrating, isn't it? Um, but there is light at the end of the tunnel if you keep chipping away at it, yeah. Play the veterans lottery. Not only could you win a handsome sum of money, you could also help rebuild a veteran's life. <laughs>